President Gengop's decision to impose a ban on foreign travel throughout this month is part of the ongoing efforts to tighten government spending. Once this period lapses, all requests for foreign travel will be carefully considered by the approving authority, he says. The intention is to exercise control and reduce the size of delegations. In exceptional cases, invitations for statutory travel must be properly motivated and approval thereof be weighed against potential value gain. Accompanying officials will not be permitted without adequate motivation. I expect the other organs of state to join the executive and exercise due restraint. We travel for the sake of traveling sometimes. People go and do nothing. While some of us are running from eight up to sometimes nine, we're not eating. Cabinet ministers are also instructed to provide feedback to Namibians on the details of their planned trips. When we are preparing to go on a meeting, whom do we represent? The country, the people. So we sit filing these documents. One week before the meeting, we go and dust them out. Off. Then we pack our luggage. Off we are. Instead of consulting locally, we are talking about 0.2% contribution to AU. That's money from taxpayers. They should know about it. We must have workshops and explain to them before we go to artists. So when we are there, we are talking with the full knowledge of our people, whom we represent. Upon return from each official engagement, political office bearers or officials are required to report back either through a press conference, workshop, or through submitting a written report to cabinet, which will in turn be tabled by prime minister or somebody concerned to the parliament. And I hope parliamentarians will debate it. Finance Minister Kale Schledwein was recently quoted as saying that government has managed to save about $4 billion through cuts on subsistence and travel allowances, better known as SNTs. Blanche Corres, NBC News.